My friends, unless you spend your time flying in the sky or swimming in the sea, you encounter walls. Now, I'm not talking about imaginary barriers people put up in an effort to avoid emotional intimacy. No, I'm talking about real walls that you can rub. Oh, it's so flat. Color. Decorate. And of course, clean. So today, a little wall washing willpower will be in order because I'm gonna show you how to clean your walls with confidence. Okay guys, I have been away for about four months, I know, I'm sorry about that, but I am back, ready to go, ready to make cleaning videos. So here we go, how to clean your walls, I'm going to give you a level one cleaning, and I'm going to follow up and I'm going to give you a level two cleaning. And yes, I'm going to remove, I'm going to show you how to remove the crayon from the wall. So the level one cleaning is going to be for the majority of y'all watching this video. It's just going to be a basic wall wash. The level two cleaning is going to be for those of you who have somehow found yourself in a home where there was smokers and now there's tar and nicotine all over the walls and you got to get it off. Either way, I got you covered. Okay, so I'm going to try to get through this really fast for y'all. First things first, level one clean. What you need is you need to get your lip pull like this with a little brush attachment. Knock down any cobwebs you have on your walls. What we're going to be using to wash the walls with for the level one clean is basically just Dawn dish soap. So you're going to fill up a bucket of water warm water with a few squirts of Dawn dish soap and that's the cleaning mixture we're going to use. Something I should go over before you get started is always test an inconspicuous area before you get started so maybe at the bottom along the baseboard in the corner of the room uh, take you like a little sponge like this dip it in your mixture and use the yellow side no use the scratchy side use this yellow side to clean it and then take you like a microfiber cloth dry it and make sure you, there's no water stain left if you don't have any water stain or any kind of visual mark on the wall, then you're good to go and you should be able to wash the entire wall. Typically semi-gloss or glossy enamel painted walls, you don't really got to worry about messing up. But if you have like um, eggshell, satin, flat latex type paint on the wall, you're probably not going to be able to do this cleaning because it has a bad tendency of rubbing off. So if that's what's on your wall, just be real careful with this cleaning. And that's why I say just test in an inconspicuous area before you get started. Okay, so to wash the walls for this cleaning, you can either do it, you can do spots with your little sponge, dip in your mixture, and then just clean the areas and then dry it with like a microfiber cloth. But if you want to do the whole wall, then just grab you something like this. It's a sponge mop. Dip it in your bucket solution, wring it out, <clears throat> make sure it's not soaking wet and it's not dripping water everywhere. Just get it damp enough, wet enough to get the job done. And then just work your way from top to bottom, just like this, okay? Washing your walls. After you do that, make sure you dry them. Get something like this. This is just like a flathead mop. This is a microfiber pad. If you don't have a microfiber pad, you can take your microfiber cloth and somehow attach it to your thing here, and then you can use it to dry the wall after you wash it. All right, let's talk about stain removal real quick, and then we'll go over to the level two cleaning. So if you have fingerprints, greasy fingerprints, crayon on the wall, boom, boom, boom magic eraser. This is what you're going to use. Let's scoot the camera in. Alright, so here's our crayon. Here's our magic eraser. Just like this. And then dry it with our microfiber cloth. Ta-da! Okay, so our level two clean. For this clean, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove tar and nicotine from a wall, right? And what we're gonna be using is something called TSP powder. Now this stuff is the bomb diggity. And you can find it at Lowe's in the cleaning section. Now, when you use this stuff, I highly recommend you wear your safety glasses. This stuff's a very concentrated chemical, cleaning chemical, and if you get it in your eyes, it's gonna burn really bad. And also, wear long sleeves and some safety gloves because when you get it on your skin, it 
itches. It's like you have poison ivy. But this is level two cleaning. This is hardcore stuff. You have nicotine and tar all over your wall. So, you know, we got to use stuff like this. Take these off. Okay. So the mixture you're going to make with this is for every two gallons of warm water, half a cup, right? Two gallons of warm water, half a cup of this stuff. And then make your mixture. All you're going to do, take your sponge mop, do your walls. You can even ap apply it with a paint roller, right? Especially if you have to do the ceilings. If you're doing the ceilings because of all the cigarette smoke and the, the tar and stuff, it's a lot easier to do this cleaning process with a paint roller. So feel free to use that as well. After you've applied the TSP cleaner to the walls and you scrub them down real well, grab your flathead microfiber mop and then dry up any excess water. Now it's pretty much guaranteed that after you're done with this, you're going to have to paint the walls. But what do you expect? They're covered in tarred nicotine. we got to get them cleaned. Get them cleaned and then repaint. Um, you can't paint with the tar and nicotine still on the wall because it's going to bleed through. You're going to see it. It's going to look awful and your house is still going to stink. Um, you know, this TSP powder, this is what it's for. This is what painters use. It's like the go-to cleaner for painters before they paint. So that's it guys. That's all I got for you. That is how to clean your walls. I'm sorry I've been gone for four months, but I'm back ready to make videos on a consistent basis for you once again. If you liked the video and found it valuable, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more great content, and until next time, I'll do the closing line. Implement the steps I have outlined in this video, and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.